Imagine a sleek, futuristic machine thundering down Britain's railways, not powered by steam, but by something entirely new. Meet the LMS 10,000, the very first successful mainline diesel electric locomotive in the UK, and a symbol of the railway revolution. In the final years of World War II, the London, Midland and Scottish Railway, LMS, began planning for the future. Steam had dominated for over a century, but engineers like H.G. Evatt saw what was coming. Diesel electric power. In 1947, LMS 10,000 was born, built at Derby Works in collaboration with English Electric. Under the hood, a 1,600 horsepower English Electric 516 diesel engine, driving an electric transmission system. It could reach speeds up to 93 miles per hour and cruise comfortably at 80, without the need for water stops, coaling, or long startup times. LMS 10,000 was officially unveiled to the press on December 8, 1947, and just 10 days later, it was showcased to the public at London Euston. This wasn't just a machine, it was a statement. The future had arrived on rails. The locomotive served with pride on express services like the Royal Scot, running alongside steam giants but outpacing them in efficiency. Together with its twin, LMS 10001, it even operated on the southern region, where it went head-to-head -head with other experimental diesels. Though both units were eventually withdrawn and scrapped by the late 1960s, their impact was massive. LMS 10,000 laid the groundwork for every British mainline diesel locomotive that followed, paving the way for modern traction and reshaping rail transport in the UK.